Today, I'm going to explain the movie called In the House from 2012. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. And I hope you enjoy it. At the beginning of the movie, we see a school. So at the start of the school year, they were having a meeting to fix their uniform. And there was a teacher named Germain. He was the literature teacher. He gave his students an assignment about what they did last week. Germain was checking his student's assignment in his house. His wife, Jean, was also there. She was a businesswoman, and she sells naked sculptures. Then Jean was looking at those assignments and told him that these kids had such low marks. Then Germain said, why should I give them a good mark? I give them an assignment about what they did last week and write it as an essay, but listen to what they wrote here. One of them wrote that I went to the fair with my parents, and I bought an airsoft big gun from the fair. Another kid wrote that a man came to their house to sell chutney, and we bought chutney from him. Now you tell me how can I give them a good grade? They're not even close to literature. Then Germain noticed an assignment of a kid, and his name is Claude. Claude wrote that, I went to my friend Rafa's house to study math, and I wanted to go to his house for so long. I always looked at his house from outside so many times. One day I saw his mother inside the house and I was so bound to meet his mom. Then I made a plan that I will go to Rafa's house with the excuse of studying to meet his mom. Because Rafa was so weak at math, so I went to his house with this excuse. Then I went to Rafa's room and saw that his room was the same as all the other boring kids' rooms. But I had no interest in Rafa or his room. My thirsty eyes were looking for his mom in the house, like a thirsty man looking out for water. Then I gave him a hard question, he was trying to solve it. Then I started exploring the house with the excuse of drinking coke. But I didn't drink coke. Then suddenly I smelled a perfume and I went to the dejection of that perfume. It was a lady's perfume. I followed the smell and went to a room. Rafa's mom was there and I kept looking at her until she noticed me. She was sitting on the sofa. Then to talk to her, I asked her where the bathroom was. Then she showed me the bathroom and told me to suit myself. This is like your own house. Then she got back to the sofa. I went back to Rafa's room and solved the math. I knew he could never solve it. I told him you're so weak at math. I need to teach you every day. I said this because I wanted to come to his house every day. And at the end of the page, he wrote to be continued. Germain got so surprised after seeing his assignment and told his wife, wow, at his age, he uses such nice words. Here, Germain noticed the nice words and literacy of Claude, but he didn't notice his plan. We all know that he wants to seduce Rafa's mom. Now the question is, if he wanted to seduce Rafa's mom, then why did he write this to his teacher? He can do this without letting anyone know about it. We will get the answer why he did that in the future. The next morning, we saw that all the kids were present in Germain's class. And after finishing his class, Germain asked Claude to wait a bit and told him, you wrote all of this. This is very good, but if Rafa gets to read this about how you see his mother, what if the school director reads it? What would you do then? Then Claude said, I didn't write this for the director. I wrote it for you. Then he submits another assignment. Germain went home and told his wife that Claude had submitted another assignment. Then his wife said, let's read what he wrote in this assignment. Claude wrote, when I went to Rafa's home this time, his mom was in a position that I never wanted her to move from. But then Rafa started talking and wasted everything. He told his mom that he did so well at math this time. He did it because of Claude. Then Claude noticed a picture. In that picture, there was Rafa, his father, and his mother. Then Claude thought that this fat pig is the one obstacle in my road to Rafa's mom. Then Rafa's mom was leaving the room. Claude watched her moving butt so attentively. He was thinking that a married middle-class woman is something else. And at the end of the page, he wrote, To be continued. Germain's wife said, This is not right. This kid is so perverted. Don't you think he is doing something wrong, that a 16-year-old kid is so perverted and dirty? Germain told her that your sculptures are more dirty than his words. Then Jean said, These are my art. Don't tell me they look dirty. Germain said, Then this is art for that kid as well. Jean told him to talk to the school director about this kid, because this kid was mentally unwell and he should go see a doctor. Germain said, no, this is not right. 
The next day, Germain checked the school record to know more about Claude. He found out that Claude came here two years ago, and they have changed their house so many times. Germain thought maybe this kid was having family problems, and he needed some guidance. But we know why they were changing their house so much. They were changing their house because of Claude. Because he was attracted toward middle-aged women. Germain thought about fixing his writing skills, and he will make him a great writer. But Claude wanted to be Rafa's mom's boyfriend, and not a writer. Then Germain gave him books, and Claude submits another assignment. He wrote in this assignment that, I went to Rafa's house once again. This time his father was also present. Then suddenly his mom came there and sat beside me on the couch. And I was feeling so happy that I can't describe it in words. But suddenly, Rafa's father got a call and left the room. Then I realized that getting a call and leaving of his father is a sign, and it can take me closer to his mom as well. And I have already imagined that Rafa's mom will fight with this father about getting calls from other ladies, and then his mom will let me have her. At the end, he wrote, To be continued. Germain read this assignment as well and told him, Your way of writing is excellent, but why do you write such strange things? Then Claude asked him, why are you helping me so much? Germain said, I like the way you write, and I want to make you a great writer. Then Germain reads this assignment with his wife. Jean said, I agree with you that this kid has God-gifted skill in writing, but he also looks like he has a God-gifted skill in seducing. And I think that you're not teaching him literature, rather he is teaching you along with me. Then Claude submits another assignment like before. In this assignment, he wrote, I went to Rafa's house and gave him a hard math question to solve. Then I left his room quietly and went outside his mom's room. Then I heard her shouting at her husband. I was having so many positive vibes from this that they started fighting over something at last. Now they are shouting at each other. In the future this will convert into fighting. And then the fight will turn into a divorce and Rafa's mom will be mine. But suddenly Rafa's mom gets out of her room and Claude quickly starts looking at the painting on the wall. But Rafa's mom realized that this boy was listening to us. Then Rafa's mom told her husband, we should assign a math tutor for Rafa because I don't think Claude is a good boy. And Claude heard it because he was standing outside of their room. Then Claude understood that from now on, they won't let him come to their house anymore. He started getting worried about it, but he thought that I must make a plan for this. At the end, he wrote, to be continued. Germain's wife read it and said this is not right. Maybe he will successfully seduce Rafa's mom. But then Germain said, no, this won't happen. This is very normal, and teenage kids do have fantasies like this. They get attracted to married women, and this turns her on, and she gets close to Germain and starts kissing him. But Germain told her, go to sleep and let me read. The next morning, Germain again said to Claude that you have to change your way of writing. Your writing is excellent but the topic is not right. If the director gets to read this, he will bury me down on the ground alive, and he will throw you in the sky. Remember that. Then Claude said, I will stop writing anyway. Then Germain asked him, why, what happened? Then Claude said, Rafa's mom is talking about assigning a new math teacher for him, and they will not allow me in their house anymore. Then he asked Germain, if you really want me to keep writing, then you will have to get me the math question papers because if I give him the question paper and he does well in his exam, then they will not assign a new math teacher for him, and I could go to their house regularly. Germain said, no, I can't steal those math papers. If they don't let you go to their house, then you can keep writing by imagining it. Claude said, I can't write without seeing them. You must bring me those math papers. But Germain said no to him and told him to get out of there. Germain might have said no to Claude, but we saw that he went to the math teacher and tried to convince her. But Germain couldn't say much to him after seeing his dumb face. The next day when Germain asked Claude to stop, then Claude said no, I will not write anymore, because you didn't give me the math papers. Then Germain made a plan. He didn't go to his house even after the school hour was finished. When all the teachers went home, then he went to the staff room and stole those math papers. Then he gave them to Claude. Claude gave those papers to Rafa, and Rafa gets a good grade in math even though he didn't know anything about math. But Rafa didn't know what he was betting with Claude in exchange for those math papers. Rafa's parents get so happy and said all of this happened because of Claude. He taught him well. Then she said Claude will teach him in the future as well. 
Claude felt so happy after it. And then we saw that Rafa was telling Claude that you took these papers from Mr. Germain and told him to stay away from him because his wife sells naked and dirty sculptures. Now the question is, why was Rafa saying all of this to Claude? We will get the answer ahead in this video. One day Rafa made a plan to play basketball with his dad. They asked Claude to go with them, but his brain was working so fast that he said no immediately. He knew that Rafa's mom would be all alone when they left, and then I will have her. Rafa and his dad went to play basketball. Then Claude went to their house. He rang the bell. Rafa's mom opened the door. She said Rafa was not home. He said, I know. I'm here to take my math book that I left in Rafa's room. Then Rafa's mom takes him inside. Then they go into Rafa's room and searched for the book, but they could not find it. The book was not supposed to be there, because Claude came there for Rafa's mom and not for his book. Claude said, maybe the book is in my room. Then he started playing sympathy cards with her. He said, my mom used to wear the same earrings as you, but she is no more. And then Rafa's mom starts getting emotional. Then they start drinking coke and talking to each other. Then we saw that Claude was getting closer to Rafa's mom. But we all know that this takes some time. But when Germaine's wife, Jean, reads this, she said that the ending of this is going to be so destructive because when Rafa and his father will find this out, they will beat the shit out of Claude. But Germaine said this will not happen. In the next scene, we saw that Germaine and his wife come back home. But Jean was sad because she could not sell any of her sculptures that day. Then Germaine gave her an assignment of Claude's. Then Jean said, don't you have anything else to do? You always keep reading to me these assignments of a dirty kid. Since you found this kid, we haven't even had sex since then. Did you fall in love with Claude? Then Germaine said, no, you know that I'm not gay and I like girls. But Jean said, never mind, in this age, men change their taste for pleasure. You can tell me about it. But Germaine said, no, this is not it. Then Germaine read the assignment of Claude. Claude wrote, Today, when I was in Rafa's room, Rafa said, you're my true friend. And then Rafa started kissing him. And we realized that Rafa was gay. And that's why he was telling him to stay away from Germaine. Because he thought Claude and Germaine were in a relationship. Then, suddenly Rafa's father came there and said, Claude, are you running late for getting home tonight? He said this because he had some plans for tonight. Claude said, no, I will stay with Rafa tonight. Then Rafa's father left. When Rafa fell asleep, then Claude got up and slowly started walking towards Rafa's mom's room. Then he saw that Rafa's mom and dad were having sex. Claude starts imagining himself amongst them. Then we saw that, in his assignments, Claude and Rafa's mom were getting closer day by day. They were eating each other's apples as well. Then Claude started to think that she was giving him a signal. We saw that Rafa's mom and dad were fighting over something, and Claude was listening to them from outside, as always. And when Rafa's father left the room after fighting with her, Claude thought that this was the right time to do it. Then he gave her a letter and left. He wrote this letter for this kind chance. The next day, Rafa's mom read the letter. She called Claude in private. She asked him, what did you write here? Today I'm over at Rafa's mom's. Today I'm ahead and Rafa's father is behind. If Rafa and his father find out, what would happen? Do you have any idea? Then Claude said, I didn't write this for them. I wrote it for you. Then we saw that Claude was imagining that Germaine came there and said, wow, you wrote a letter for her and I don't even know about it. Then Rafa's mom said, I liked your letter very much. And then suddenly she starts kissing him badly. Then we saw that Rafa was standing outside and he saw his mom and Claude together. Then he went to his room and he killed himself. And at the end of that page, he wrote, to be continued. Germaine gets so worried about reading all of this. And then the next day he searched for Rafa, but he was not in class. Then he went to the reception and asked them to call Rafa's house to ask them why he didn't come to school today. The receptionist called Rafa's and found out that he was sick. And that's why he didn't come to school that day. Germaine felt so relaxed after hearing this. He realized that Claude lied about Rafa's suicide. Germaine immediately went to Claude and said, Today you have crossed all your limits. My mistake was to believe you and help you to go to their house. From now on you will not be writing anything, and I will not read anything that you write. Claude gave him another assignment, but he refused to take it. Claude left the letter there and left. But Germaine could not help himself. He grabbed the assignment and started reading it. He wrote that, Today, Rafa's father came home in a very sad mood. 
because he lost his job. He was so worried about it. Then Rafa's mom said to his father that she wanted to tell him something. Then we thought that she was about to confess about her relationship with Claude. But no, she said she was pregnant. Her husband got so happy after hearing it, and they started kissing. Then Rafa came there and said, I want a new teacher. Claude will not come to our house from today. But Claude still wrote at the end, to be continued. In the next scene, we saw that Rafa came to beat Claude. He said, I thought you were my best friend, and you seduced my own mother. Then Claude said, you have kissed me that day, and acted like a gay. But then Rafa beat the shit out of Claude. In the next scene, we saw that Germain came to Claude, and he told him that their family was still together. Now please don't go to their home and destroy their sweet loving family. Then Claude said, I will not write anymore, and I will never go to their house. But then Germain said, you must complete the assignment with an ending. And then Claude again went outside of Rafa's house for the ending. Rafa's mom went running to him, and she returned the letter to him. Then Claude says, come with me, we will go somewhere else. But Rafa's mom said, no, it can't happen. You're just a kid, and whatever happened that day was just a mistake. Then Claude got so sad. Then Rafa's mom said, you know how much hurt Rafa was because of our kiss. Then Claude said, I don't want to hurt anyone. But then he starts kissing her again. But Rafa's mom pushes him away and leaves, and saw that Claude was crying there, and said this should not be the ending of this assignment. Then he tried to find an ending for the assignment, and he remembered about Germain's wife. When Germain was in school, Claude went to Germain's house. Germain's wife opened the door and said Germain is in school. Then Claude said, that's why I'm here. Then she asked him to get in. They started talking to each other. Claude was observing her beauty and said she's not bad at all. Then he asked her why she still doesn't have any kids. Jean said we never thought about it. But Claude said to me that you are unfertile and he asked me to have sex with you. But Claude was lying to her. He said all of these so that Jean would hate Germaine and sleep with him. Claude was successful. After some time we saw that Claude and Jean were having sex. And Claude finds the ending for his assignment. Then Claude wrote this and left the paper in Germaine's room. In the next scene, we saw that Germaine was fired from the school, because Rafa told the director that Germaine stole the math paper and gave it to Claude. Germaine came back home and read the ending of the assignment. Then he got another shock that Claude seduced his wife as well. And now his wife was also leaving him because she thinks Germaine called her unfertile. Then Jean told him that now Claude can never be your son because I've had sex with him. Germaine was so shocked and traumatized. Then we saw the ending of the movie. Germaine was sitting on a bench. Then Claude came there, and Germaine told him, You here to fuck me as well? Claude sat next to him, and they started to talk to each other. Germaine was thinking that, because of this pervert, I lost my job, my wife left me, but I'm still talking to him. Then Claude looked at those windows of the building, and was thinking about entering one of those families. And the last word of this movie was, To be continued. To watch more explanations of these kinds of movies, click on the videos on your screen. And don't forget to let me know how you feel about today's video in the comments down below. And at last, I will say, stay safe, stay well, thanks.